Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create an MP3 XML driven player with ActiveScript 3 and you'll be able to update your song list and your songs by just simply editing an XML file so let's learn how to do that let's look at the XML file in the XML file it's a little different than before from the last tutorial where I taught you about how to make XML stories the XML feed well we had nodes full of information in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to read attributes because last time uh, I got a lot of emails saying hey how do you use e attributes inside of XML so the way you do that is well we have attributes an attribute is you know you have a name it anything and you have something in parentheses so I have a title and a URL and the difference is between the regular nodes if you look at the top like song it opens and it closes but with these it's just one item and at the end it's forward slash and your sign so we're gonna do these these are empty nodes and this is all you need for a um, for a song list in the directory I have my FLA file I have all my songs that I want to play I also have my XML file let's go into flash I have an action script 3 layer and a content layer and in the content layer I put a text field named it song underscore txt I have two buttons one name is B underscore BTN and the other one is called N underscore BTN you know back in next I set up a bare bones structure of the flash content but don't worry, I'm going to explain everything. The first variable I called get file, which is a URL uploader, which is going to be responsible for downloading everything. So I data typed it to URL loader, new URL loader, and in the parentheses, I put new URL request and put the name of the XML file. The next, I created a variable amount of songs, which is going to hold the song amount. The next variable is the current song, which will keep track of what song you're playing. Uh, we have the song list, which is an XML file, which will hold, will take the data of the song.xml and turn it into an XML that Flash can read. The next is the song channel, which will be responsible for playing our songs. I have a get file that add event listener that listens for when it is completely downloaded. That is the XML file, and this function right here, which is not nothing in will activate after it's finished downloading and of course we have two add event listeners for mouse down on both these buttons which will which will activate this function which is n underscore song which is next song and back a song so let's get into the get songs and do that the first thing we want to do is we want to put song list and we want to equal that to xml in parentheses then we'll put e dot target dot data and what this does is extract all the data of the um, the get file variable it just takes it as a string create made into XML then sent into the song list which is an XML variable the next thing we want to do is we want to get the number of songs we want to create the amount of songs and what we want to do is put song list dot song because that's the name of our nodes and we want to put the length. Now if you named your song something else like track, you'll put track. So it'll be song list track. The song list is like the root. In my XML file is called songs. So you can think of this as songs. Then you go to song. Then you count how many songs there are. But we want to subtract it by one because of how XML works. So if we subtract it by one, we'll be right where it needs to be. So instead of one through four, it'll be zero through three and the next thing we want to do since we have all the information the files the song and all that jazz we might as well call the function that we're gonna create the play song so I'll just copy that now we have the forward and back buttons what we want to do is of course we want to put the play song function in both of them and what we want to type remember that variable current song and the next we want to we want to add plus one and on the bottom we want to decrease it by one now for that fancy smancy play song function that we want to do 
for the play song function, the first thing we want to do is stop any song if it is playing. So remember the sound channel? We want to put sound channel stop. The next is we want to test if the current song is going too far or has it gone past the number of songs we have available. So what we have is an if statement that says if current song is greater than the amount of songs we want to set it the current song back to zero. And we have another if statement that says if the current songs is less than zero, like if it says current song is negative one, we want to put it to the song amount. Now we can get into the attributes of the XML file and I'll show you how to do it. Song list dot song and the current song which is in these brackets which is a number from 0 to 3 and then we get the attribute by putting a dot and this at sign in the name of your item so right now I'm taking a title from the current song so let's pretend that this is a 0 so what it's gonna do is get the first song in the list and it's gonna look for the a title attribute this item makes an attribute so the at sign shift 2 makes it an attribute and we're taking that number or we're taking that text we're taking that information and we're putting it into the song underscore txt on the screen now what we want to do is create a new variable which will hold our song now the song has to load from a URL and what we're gonna do is call it var sound data type it to a sound and make it equivalent to a new sound and in the new sound we'll put new URL request like always and this time we'll do something a little different by adding in that song dot song you know the current song so if, let's pretend this is zero it'll go to the first element and we'll look at the a URL attribute and you can see that at sign again and that's how you rip the attributes from the XML file not too complicated you have the song list which you can pretend like it is a root then you have the name of the element which is song for me and the the number on which you want to go from 0 to 3 for me you can have 20 if, or a million if you like and you want to put the at and the name of the attribute now that we're done with all of that you want to start to play the song so we'll put and we want the sound channel to control it so we'll put song dot play and set it to the sound channel. After we're done with that, we want to create an add event listener for the sound channel. So sound channel that add event listener and the event that we want to add is sound complete and the function that I want to create is song end. So at the end of the song we want something to happen. And the thing that we want to happen is essentially the same thing that happens inside of the next button and we'll just copy and paste it inside of the function there's just one difference we want to put e dot target dot stop this will just ensure that the sound channel which is the target of this function will stop when you are done so since we have everything all written out let's try it out Well, I made a mistake here. I have to put amount of songs. And we have a working XML MP3 player. Now, if you wait to see if the song will complete, then it should go into the next song, but unfortunately, I don't have that much time. Thanks for watching another On Enter Flash tutorial. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, and go to my website, onenterflash.blogspot.com, where you can find more tutorials, the FLA, and click on an attitude to put a few pennies in my pocket. Thanks a lot.